Okay, so let's talk about storage modes. Okay, so we, we use specific hard drives for video surveillance. We can use standard uh, hard drives, but they do have a reduced lifetime. So this one here is like a Seagate video hard drive. So this will be able to handle, this is a like, um, let me see here, like a two terabyte uh, hard drive. Uh, we can have several different type of uh, sizes and, um, but the, 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 the hard drive class is very important for your project. So, and so one important thing is some inst installers use like an SSD hard drive, which is totally a no go for these type of installations because the, it will be continuously recording, deleting, recording, deleting. And this type of operation is not the optimal operation for an, uh, an SSD like hard drive. Uh, of course, if, if it can be used, if it's like a server class only, uh, it can be used for the operational system and for the uh, recording software itself being installed on this hard drive. But the video recording, the real the content that we'll be able to, to, uh, to be recording and deleting uh, every time, this needs to be in a specific hard drives. We have uh, purple uh, classes and uh, we have specific classes that I put here in the, the screen so you can um, uh, reference as a, you know, the best optimal uh, hard drives for the video surveillance. Okay, so let's talk about the, the storage types. So we have the FIFO or the Recycle. What this um, type of recording do? So we have here, let's assume that here is the, the, the hard drive size. So it will start to to record here and it start to fill all the NVR hard drive and then when it reaches here all its size it will start to so here's the input so here we start to delete the first images or the the oldest information this hard drive and it then it will start to record this again and you to do this in a cycle mode so uh, so being the cycle mode forever until you change any parameter okay so this is the the first thing first out and uh, recycle type of uh, recording we have another one that it's uh the retention time so the retention so we have here the the NVR size and then you define a retention the most common retention time in the installations is 30 days so it will keep 30 days of recording and even if your hard drive have more space to record more days, it will start to delete the old files and only keep the, the, the retention time that are defined. But one thing that is important that a few installers forget that defining only this information will not ensure that you really have this retention time because retention time is defined by the video stream. The, the video stream is the combination, the sum of all the bit heights of all the channels. We will be able to um, calculate how much storage you need, like for example, for one day and for one week and for one month, and then have this information here. So let's assume you, your calculation based on the average uh, movement in the scenes that you have in the installation, you require um, seven terabytes of hard drive and you buy like uh, a 10 terabytes right so seven will be 
a little bit here, okay? Um, when you define the retention time, 30 days, and you calculate, okay, it will be uh, about seven terabytes these 30 days. But you have a fluctuation on this calculation, okay? Sometimes you have, you can have like a fog, or rainy day that you have more noise in the image, uh, more movement, more, you know, it's like a peak. So we, you can have like a fluctuation between having uh, a few months, uh, six terabytes or sometimes eight and, and fluctuate between these seven and, uh, and the six and, and, and eight. But, and this is good because you still have a buffer here that will, you will be able to uh, be sure that you will still have your 30 days here. Okay, so in this way, you will record the, always the 30 days and then start to delete the old ones and always keeping uh, a safety buffer. And this is good to have, really have a, a safety space, but it's good for the hard drive health as well to not fill 100% of the hard drive. So it, it's a good uh, option. And the last one is the stop mode. The stop mode is a, it's still we still have this option in a few embedded NVRs, uh, and basically what it does it is basically stop recording when it fills the hard drive. It's used in in very specific installations in very specific applications that you uh, you want to record and to, you don't, don't want to lose anything prior someone evaluate if you know needs to to export something etc. So. Um, it's not it's not like often use it but you know, it's a it's a mode that we have so uh, it will start and then we, when we fill the hard drive it will stop the recording and when it stops you it can raise a flag it can raise an event and then the um, uh, the monitoring team will, will do the actions needed on this NVR. These were the, the storage modes that we have.